working on EPAM anyway. Mm -hmm. It was working on my own during the week with, and, and then and then making sure to, I I got in a fairly long session with Herb Simon every Saturday morning. Herb would put away Saturday as the day to do sustained research and write papers. In the Graduate School of Industrial Administration, uh, the culture was a mix it up culture. And there was a very important event that happened every day at three o'clock where everybody, no matter what they were doing, just came down to the lounge and had coffee or tea and 40 people, mm -hmm. the mathematical economists, the students, the graduate students, not the undergrads, they didn't, or the master students, they didn't, it was the research oriented people would just flood the uh, commons room and uh, then occasionally we'd have speakers come in from the outside, uh, friends of Simons or Box or whoever giving you know, uh, George Danzig might show up and talk about his thing. To, to say two last things about EPAM. Oh. The first is that it was the source of my first significant aha moment in my whole scientific life, oh. which is the following. I was, Herb and I had, uh, were working on the assumptions that we were building into this learning model. And I want to emphasize learning model, acquisition, putting things into memory, building branches of this tree. And I was running experiments. And I would literally run them on the computer. I would run li literally me sitting on the 650 and I'd run in cards and they were just simulating a psychological experiment. So it was literally running it. And then one day I'm running it. I'm running some of these, and we wanted minimal assumptions. We didn't want a bell and whistle theory, so minimal assumptions. So we're putting in, we're pruning everything to the minimal, and I'm putting this stuff in, and this program, this simulation is learning some stuff. Oh, trial one, trial two, trial three, trial four, it forgets it. Trial five, it's back. Trial six, it's gone. Seven, eight, it's there. Nine, it's gone. What is going on? I mean, is that a bug in the program or is that? Well, it turns out it's not a bug in the program. It's this minimalist assumption that you n never should store more than you need for access at any moment. In other words, recognition is different than recall. So if you want to access something in a recognition state, recognition mode, you store a small amount of information about it. But the more you learn, the less adequate becomes that information. So all of a sudden, the access to it disappears. Well, you have to relearn that by adding a little more information. And you relearn it, very, you only need to put in a little more information, and you can relearn it in the, next, in the very same trial. So it comes back right away. Well, it turns out that's an exact match to the psychological phenomena, that you do have this thing called interference forgetting. And the uh, m marvelous thing about interference forgetting is they come back right away. Mm -hmm. And then they disappear again, and they come back right away. Mm -hmm. So. That was an amazing thing because we never, I never put in any uh, assumptions about forgetting at all. It, I see. it just dropped out of the theory, that's which I loved. Exactly. That's great. And that's the second thing I want to say about EPAM is that uh, Herb worked on it until uh, the time he died. Uh, it was on his list. He had a list of the, t the 10 books he was working on, literally. And on that list was EPAM. He had still been working on it with a, a student named Howard Richmond. He and Howard had published a lot of papers. They had programmed IPL5 for the PC. They had put, by that time it was EPAM, they had evolved into EPAM6. Mm -hmm. And it was running on the PC via IPL5. And uh, it got very much more extensive. But by the time it was finished, well, even when I left it, I didn't do m much more work on it after 1965, but even when I left it, it was the best going theory in that verbal learning area that there was in psychology. Uh, and it still is. Mm 